Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we open up the equivalent of two build and battle Cosmic Eclipse boxes. This is going to help me on my mad pursuit to complete a binder for this particular set. The goal here is to open up the packs, go ahead and fill up my binder a little bit more, and then move along with my life and continue to fill up other sets as they are released. Now, with that said, friends, a quick housekeeping announcement, but if you missed it, I also opened up two Rebel Clash build and battle boxes. Didn't get many good pulls, but I am hoping you will get some pretty good pulls because I would like to announce we are doing a giveaway on the channel. To enter, you must go to Instagram. I will leave the link to the post down below but definitely feel free to go ahead and join that giveaway. It's super simple. All you need to do is go ahead and like the Instagram post and then go ahead and leave the comment with the keyword that I have left in the caption on the post and you will be entered to win. I will draw the particular giveaway and then you get mailed a build and battle box, assuming all else is good. So without further ado, friends, um, make sure to go ahead and enter that giveaway. And then other than that, I'm going to have these guys opened up. So I love Cosmic Eclipse in case I haven't mentioned it. Like, just look at these pack arts. Are they not just all everything that you want? Like each of these is so cool and unique. And I love the fact that they like did a lot of like Gen 4 homage, like booster boxes, the ETB, they're all like the creation trio, which I think is amazing. Um, and then in addition to that, you also just have like the really cool aesthetic on these cards, which I'm also madly in love with. So without further ado, let's get started. We got a Fighting Energy, a Floet, a Zangoose looking like he running from something, a uh, Vaporeon, a Handron Wilmer, a Ponyard, Togedamaru, Flygon, Flabebe, Drampa and a Dragali. So I'm assuming that was a green. Yeah, that was a green code card. If you checked out the um, other video, the Rebel Clash one, you know that I didn't actually get that great a set of pulls. So I am sad, but I'm hoping the other boxes are uh, better. I have, I think, five of them. So the goal slash hope would be that sooner or later, there's another green code card. Sooner or later, I can do another one of those openings. Um, either here or on IG, but um, I bought them mainly because I know that they're going to be very nifty and handy for pulling, um, you know, random cards. So the hope is that I'll be able to round out my collection that way. Got a Time Pull, a Piplup, a Trapinch, and a Glalie. The other thing that's really weird is that, I mean, obviously Sword and Shield is in print right now, and therefore... I don't expect the situation playing out where we lose the ability to have our sword and shield packs bought at MSRP. But what I do find fascinating is that a white code card. Uh, what I do find fascinating is that um, a situation is currently going on where a lot of sun and moon stuff is shooting up in value. I mean, obviously, we've seen things like burning shadows and unbroken bonds and frankly it was only a matter of time and people are bored and in the house still meaning it's likely that they're going to continue to cause prices to drive upward a mega low punny and jiggly look at that jiggly okay i don't recall that i have this card i'm hoping that i don't at least this way we filled another slot in the binder um but what's interesting is that even something like cosmic eclipse there is a bit of a premium on these packs now depending on who you're buying from which is super interesting because you didn't expect that to happen but here we are anyway and finally but not least the gen 6 pokemon packs but yeah i guess because also cosmic eclipse a green code card um because cosmic eclipse was also released literally december of last year i feel like it's still relatively in good supply meaning there's you know very little likelihood someone's not going to be able to undersell you and still make a lot of money it's not like unbroken bonds and burning shadows where the supply for those sets of cards has significantly dried up mainly because it's unlikely that anyone is still printing them got a seismitoad However, uh, that said, this is the other box now. 
That said, it's amazing that Target has continued to put those cards, particularly those Burning Shadows ETBs, out for sale um, at $35. Got a green code card. Uh, so what I find amazing is that they're able to put those cards up for sale. Here's an interesting thing. It's like a weird stain on the back of this card. Weird. And to my knowledge, these weren't tampered with. I, I don't believe it's that. I think instead what has happened is that is a wicked printing manufacturer error. So that's interesting. And a Lowland Sand True, a Snow Run. Good thing is it came out of green code card pack, so I doubt it's anything we actually need or care about. That is a dope Ente. And that is a Paso Land. Very good. Got a Gen 6 Legendary Cover Art Pokemon cover pack art and I definitely just spoiled that one I think but yep white code card one two three four mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and let's see where we are at we got a water energy a roller skater a clefairy a pig knight a whalmer a palpitode a cricketot a apom all right I've significantly spoil this a woobat a rotom is our reverse and our rare ha <laughs> cool the megalopunny and jiggly of puff full art number 225 out of 236 a good looking card may i say and ironically enough exactly a matching card for our previous pull so how do you like that? We'll go ahead and put those two in the back. But let's keep going because you never know. These packs have these build and battle boxes. They can go one way or the other. It looks like you either get some like sick pulls out of them. There's another Cosmic Eclipse green one. Um, or for some reason, sometimes you do get lucky. And I've pulled like three, uh, three like V cards out of one box. Now they none of them were textured, full art, none of that. But it is weird because sometimes you'll get things like that where it's like you get four white code cards and you're like, hello, is this real? And Polion, very nice. And see, that's what I mean. Like, that's a nice Gen 4 starter Pokemon. I love the art. Like, that shows Empoleon in a good light. They should do more of this. They really should. Cosmic Eclipse. The last pack it was a Blastoise and a Piplup, which, by the way, is available as a couple different varieties. Um, including but not limited to a full art and a rainbow rare version of the same card. That was a green code card, so no one get their hopes up. Everybody manage those expectations. We have a fire energy, a Delmize, Island Challenge Amulet, Curlia, Deerling, Galette, Dewpider, Onyx, Apom, Woobat, and a Oak. And our, yeah, a Sylveon is our rare. But how do you like that, friends? Nice little art variety for you. Thanks again for checking out today's video, guys. If you like what you saw, please leave a like down below. Have any questions, comments, concerns, want to see more of this type of stuff, definitely feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Most importantly of all, thank you so much for your viewership. I always try to say thanks. And even if I don't know that I really do mean it, and I'm always thinking about it because I do appreciate you guys for showing up, showing some love, leaving likes, leaving comments, and checking out the video. So thanks again. Make sure to leave a like if you liked what you saw, as I literally just said. And thanks again for watching today's video, friends. We'll see you real soon. Peace.